What's up YouTube, everyone watching this video. I'm back with another tutorial right over the shoulder and it's how to create a private Facebook group. I'm going to make this tutorial very simple and easy for you and right to the point, I'm about to share my screen and jump into that. But before I do that, if you're new to my channel and you like business tutorials just like this one, step by step, if you like business advice from experience, if you're into personal development, then click that subscribe button right down below, click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my weekly videos that I put out. I always try to add a lot of value. Now I'm going to jump in and show you exactly how to create a private Facebook group step by step in a simple way. And it's great for any of my subscribers who are trying to grow a personal brand or work with other businesses. If you're a coach or a consultant, this is great for you to create a Facebook group, to funnel people in, to be around the community of like-minded people. Facebook groups are definitely powerful and a great way to connect and network with like-minded people. So right now we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step -step how to create your private Facebook group. Okay, so we're gonna start a Facebook group, a private Facebook group. And the way we do that is come over to your Facebook profile and right up here to the right next to your name and home, you see create, you could click that and then click group. That's what I like to use. You could also just click groups down to the left sidebar. And when you click groups up here, you could create group as well. But I like to use create up here and then group. Here is my business profile. What you could also do is if you wanna create a group from your business profile, click these three buttons right here and go to create group. Now I'm gonna still use it from up here. This is what I'm used to doing. Now once you click create group, you need to name your group. So I'm creating a group called build and break free. You could add some people via email. Now right here is important too. I'm gonna leave this actually on only members can see who's in the group and what they post. But when it comes down to hide group, I'm gonna put anyone can find this group. Now my other group, Digital Real Estate Secrets Revealed, this is a members only group. You have to be in my Digital Real Estate Secrets course in order to get access. So for that, I actually put on only members can find this group. The public cannot even find that group. But when you're starting a, a group, and let's say it's your first group, and you want the public to find it, you wanna make sure anyone can find this group, but maybe when they become a member to your group, you only want them to be able to see the post. So I would leave that too. Unless you wanna leave it open to the public as well, I suggest leaving only members of the group can see who's in the group and what they post. So I'm gonna create this group called Build and Break Free. Now remember, anyone can find this group and it's gonna be open to the public, but only people that become a member of the group will actually see who's in the group and what's going on as far as posting in the group. Click create. So then what you wanna do is upload a photo. I had something just created quick because my designer is actually designing the banner for here. We usually design the banner for the group 1640 by 900 pixels. Again, that's 1640 by 900. Click upload, here it is. We're just gonna put this here for now. And there, build and break free, save. So this group, that's what we're using for now. Another thing to keep in mind with this group, you see my privacy level, I kept it private. I kept it so that the public could find it, but I also kept it that only members can see the post and what's going on and who's in the group. Now, once I get a certain amount of members, I believe it's a few thousand or 5,000, I'm not going to be able to change that, so just keep that in mind. So the next thing you wanna do is click notifications, and when do you wanna get notified? If you're the one monitoring the group and you wanna know every single post and see every post, then you're going to wanna be notified whenever there's all post, every post. So I suggest put all post. If you only wanna be notified when friends post, again, you set these settings yourself. I suggest if it's a new group and you're the one creating it, you wanna see every post so far. Keep in mind, there's a lot of spammers that come into these type of groups, so that's why you wanna see all the posts, and that's also why the next settings, where we're gonna go into now, we're gonna click more, and we're gonna click edit group settings, and this is very important, because you want to be very stern. I suggest putting a description. I'm not gonna put a description yet. I'll leave this Facebook group down below in the YouTube description section so you can visit it 
you'll see that I put a description. It's going to be very precise and specific because I only want specific people in this group. Now, I'll invite people who are like-minded, that's the whole point of a group, to bring in people like-minded and that I know are going to be there for the right reasons. So in my description, I'm gonna be very specific and I'm going to say specific things and you'll see that if you go and visit the group. But definitely, Give a nice brief description of what this group is all about. If it's a local group, you can add a location. This is not a local group, so I'm not going to do that. Tags just help people find the groups that they might be interested in. So you want to put certain things like this is going to be about personal branding, digital marketing, personal development. So you want to add a few tags. You can actually change the color. Let's just check this out. So it's suggesting this color. We'll leave that for now. We'll, we'll try this color. Why not? Custom address. Yes. I wanna to try to get build and break free as my custom URL so it's easy to send people to from all over the place. Customize address, so that's done, perfect. Hide group, no, uh, make it visible. Anyone can find this group. I want anyone to be able to find this group. Uh, membership approval, anyone in this group. I can actually put only admins and moderators because I want me and only other people that I approve to let other people in. Allow pages to request to join as members. Sure, why not? Posting permissions, anyone in the group could post. Again, but in my description, I'm going to be very thorough about my description and also what I'm also going to do, I'm going to ask questions. This is the most important thing, ask questions, membership questions, membership rules. These questions and rules are very important. You want questions and rules. Rules so no spammers are coming in, people aren't complaining, there's no negativity, those type of things, no arguing, no fighting. So you wanna create rules. And you can make different types of questions. A good question could be, how did you find the group? And then their choice could be either multiple choice where you put YouTube, Instagram, Google, a referral, right? Or you can make it check boxes or you can just have them write their answer. So after you ask the question, they'll write their answer. You're allowed up to three questions. Just make sure that you're asking the right questions. How did they find your group is definitely a good one. Also maybe what are they looking to get out of being a part of this group? That's another great question. Again, you wanna set, set up some membership questions so you kinda get a feel and also see if people take the time to really write some good answers. Then you know they're serious about being in the group. So definitely put two or three questions, definitely place some group rules so people understand that you're not playing games with your group and this is a serious place. So this is a really important place, really your group rules. If you're mentioning no spamming, we're not tolerating negativity, no fighting, no promoting ridiculous things in the group. This all has to come down to your rules. Everyone has different ideas for their groups, so just make sure that you put the rules that follow your guidelines of what you want. Make sure you're asking the right three questions so that you know that you're filtering out anyone that you do not want in your group. And you can look at other groups that you're trying to create that's similar to yours to get ideas for this. But once you set up your questions and your rules, bam, your group is set up. You can now come back to your settings. You could take this link right here, which would mine would be build and break free, and you could go share this and people can now join your group, answer those questions, follow the rules, and be a part of your community. I hope you found value in that quick over the shoulder tutorial. If you have any questions at all, leave them down below. If you did find value, please give me the thumbs up. Share this with anyone you know that you think this might help. Maybe they should start a Facebook group. Maybe they have a business. Maybe they're interested in this type of content. Definitely share it. Subscribe if you found some value. See you in the next one.